Quiet down and listen up. Tony is talking. Thanks for watching this episode of Tony is Talking. A lot of people talking about Bob Woodward's new book, Obama Wars, and all the quotes that are coming out of it. And certainly, while I haven't read the book, any line that I see regarding Obama having a professorial approach to being president and assigning advisors homework, I believe. I absolutely believe that's the way he runs the White House, and I believe that he treats grown men and women like school children and assigns them homework to do. No question about it. But I think the more interesting story coming out now is how his economic team has completely unraveled and everybody is running for cover. I read here off an article from Yahoo News. First, there was uh, Pete Orzag, who was Obama's budget director. He resigned in July. Then Christina Romer, chair of the President's Council of Economic Advisors. She left earlier this month. And this week, this very week, Chief Economist Larry Summers announced he would leave uh, the White House. This is a complete and total unraveling. And you'll notice that it is in conjunction with an economy that continues to fail regardless of every attempt made by the Obama administration to add stimulus dollars that simply cannot bring back an economy. That's not the way it works. But their jumping ship goes to the concept of work and results, something this president knows nothing about. When you have a job, there is work associated with the job. That work can then be measured. You either completed the work successfully or you completed the work unsuccessfully. That measure is the thing that President Obama hates most. Why do you think Michelle Obama thinks living in the White House is hell? Why do you think the economic advisors are running for cover? Because the measurable result of the economic impact of Obama on America has been an epic failure. Never mind what happened before, let's deal with what we have now. Because what we have now is 10 times worse than what we had before, and I make up the number 10 times, you might tell me it's a thousand times. It's the same makeup of a number of those people who say, well, what if we did nothing? If we didn't have stimulus, who knows where the unemployment rate would be? Exactly, nobody knows. So if you're gonna make up numbers, so am I. But what isn't made up is the concept that the job has work and the work has a result. And President Obama is a statist. He is a big government believer. He is a big government socialist. Ooh, I said the word. But in his mindset and in his worldview, results have no consequences. But in our world, the real world, results have very serious consequences. Results determine whether or not the patient lives or dies on the operating table. Results determine whether or not the company thrives or fails. Results determines whether or not you can move out of that apartment or you're going to find yourself a smaller apartment. Results matter. The work breeds results. The job has work to be done. So you have all these economic advisors running for cover back to their cushy teaching jobs where there are no measurable results. Because when they were confronted with actually having a measurable result, they failed. And all of these people, including the president, who try to live a life where they have no measurable result, now being in the White House, now being in charge, they have failed at creating any result that is positive. So they run back to the things that have no results whatsoever. The only result that matters for us now is the election of 2010 and 2012 and 2014, 16, 18, 20, and beyond. Because we are capitalists and we know that the work brings a result and we want the right result in those elections. Listen to the Tony Camps Radio Spectacular Monday through Friday on the All Patriots Media Network. Copyright 2000.
2010 on PatriotMedia.com.